After almost two years, a poem that I submitted to an anthology is going to be launched on April 22nd. And I can't believe it's finally going to be in print. And my first poem is from that anthology called Grabbing the Apple, uh, an anthology of New York women poets. And if anybody wants to know about the book launch, come talk to me later on. Like that of the purple orchid in my garden, a cento. The moon tonight is dazzling, is full. In dreams, I'm wild with guilt. Entering the seawater at twilight, like Blake, naked in his garden. I give anything for one more night, and part my lips with the globe. Be gentle with me, I'm new to this. As dawn breaks, he enters. I lay down in the tweed of one man, this first frost night, as in a children's book composed entirely of snow. And this was what I wrote with Jada, and I'm reading it for her, even though some of you might have heard it before. And it's called St. Cain for Jada. It's about what happened on St. Mark's Place one day. She wants to pierce her nose. I cannot convince her not to. She is determined. So we'll go visit the East Village, whatever tattoo shop where the ancient mariner gets his ink. <laughs> this is called Soulmates. I think we are soulmates. We found each other after a thousand years. We bathed in the Mesopotamian River. We traveled the River Jordan. We survived. Came back to life again and again, searching for each other on the shores of Sicily, on the frozen Rus Russian tundra. Years pass and we make do. You know, love the one you're with. But baby, there's something electric, cosmic between us. Let's be one. And this, me and Jada are going to be honored at the Girls Right Now benefit later this month. And she wrote a poem called I Am Woman, and that inspired me to write I'm the Girl, and we're going to be in both at the benefit. So I apologize if you heard it too but I have to practice it. <laughs> I'm the Girl. I'm the Girl who survived New York City in the 70s. Played in city parks while dealers dealt dope. Oil packets, plastic baggies, unafraid of consequences. I'm the girl who wrote graffiti-covered subway cars. Colorful sunlight passed through spray-painted windows like cathedral stained glass. I'm the girl who hid in closets. When my parents' frustrations led to arguments, loud fights, my father so angry he grabbed a knife, threatened to kill the entire family. I'm the girl too tall until college, when the boys caught up. Five feet, ten inches in eighth grade, long and lanky, kids called me tree. I'm the girl, high school freshman, who grew up fast. My sister on angel dust, parents preoccupied, family fell apart, I grew up alone. I'm the girl waiting at the bus stop for my father to return home from work, happy when he smiles, holds my hand, and walks me home. In the backyard, digging in the garden dirt, my father taught me how to transplant the fragile tomato plant. So small, I understand his passion. My last poem is called Spending the Day with Tinkerbell. <laughs> Journeys to Gotham, pixies ride unicorns to knights in armor. South of the border banquet, stroll down canyons under a silver sky. Riches, witches, brews, and toy stories, Selfies with street murals. We scatter our dreams on the Lower East Side. Thank you.